Good evening, colleagues. Today I'm recording for you an undoubtedly important XRP video review. Before we start, I ask you to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss new videos. Thank you. Let's go. Ripple makes you nervous this the coin is now worth 20 cents. Some people are interested in it and some people are not in general. I think we are doing very well. Fine this year and the payoff is 10 14 cents and who doubted close to 25 to 26 cents to test the trend zone 27 on the daily time frame and the first target zone where it makes sense to sell the fish is 70 80 cents. Also those who made a mistake entered the market later on during the high in December, I, I gave you the zones to sell zones of imbalance at 55 and 64 cents. And who wanted to increase the number of coins in the portfolio you also got their covenants marks to pay off well the last order has not worked for me yet. Once again, this point I will say of course I will put all my thoughts, formations on the reversal targets for 2021 on the exit, without a loss altcoin not on a good good profit. If you are willing to hold in general all very concentrate of what you're going to need exactly in this video turn on accelerated mode and a half to watch the video from beginning to end. As part of the introductory speech I'd like to draw your attention to the cryptocurrency Qcoin exchange. Naturally this is the top cryptocurrency exchange that many know. There are 300 cryptocurrency pairs with very easy exchange process to buy and sell, which is very relevant. There's undoubtedly the most real anonymous trading by simply entering your mailbox, and you can fully trade, make a deposit to trade on the plus and this project within 10 only 10 minutes to withdraw to your card. Or transfer your tokens, your cryptocurrency to other accounts. Low commissions it is an altcoin like NEO no commission at all. Convenient mobile app you can of course trade in any mobile app store, be it Google Play. Or it will be a tablet and of course wonderful trading view platform he all used to build a trend line trend lines, Fibonacci lines, build zones imbalance zones. Of course everything is very easy to understand everything you need all you everything you need to successfully trade. Everything is here, and the best part is that in honor of New Year 2021, the stock exchange doll it is launching a series of companies reward users. Make a deposit and start trading to win iPhone 12 AirPods Pro and 300,000 Candace S. Bring in Alex Holmes. He is the chair and CEO of MoneyGram. Uh, Alex, look, welcome to the program. We really like to have people on the show who are taking advantage, not taking advantage, of this, but um, I, I would say a, a new kind of company that benefits from this new economy. Are your transactions up a lot at uh, MoneyGram? Uh, yes, sir, they, they are. As a matter of fact, it's been... Um, Quite a uh, transition for, for this company over the last couple of years. Um, we have seen a tremendous surge in uh, digital transactions over the last two years and really an incredible surge uh, over the last quarter since the, uh, since the pandemic really set in. 106% growth last quarter in digital transactions and about 27% of our uh, total company transactions. So definitely uh, have seen a, a tremendous increase as consumers you know, look for you know, coronavirus safe ways to send and receive money. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. I like to write checks. Are my days as a check writer numbered? Uh, you know, my, my standing joke on that is I think you can continue to write checks, but the people in line behind you probably aren't going to appreciate it very much. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think they probably are, and I think Corona is definitely another um, step towards that digitization. I think, you know, uh, contactless payments, uh, online, digital payments, mobile-type uh, devices will continue to see a, an increase in utilization uh, as we go forward all over the world not just here in the u.s how long before we see the end of cash notes and coins yeah, yeah that question's been out there for forever i will tell you you know cash still is the predominant form of payments anywhere in the world it is you know by far the most ubiquitous and uh, and liquid uh, for anybody in a market uh, anywhere in the world you know, that being said i think the growth in digital uh, is has been absolutely tremendous the the world bank uh, which is probably the you know, foremost expert in terms of remittances uh, and cross-border payments says, you know, that this market will be 50% digital by, by 2022, and that was before the virus. So I certainly think that there will continue to be pressure on cash, but I think it will be around for quite a long time. MoneyGram, well-positioned. Chair and CEO Alex Holmes joins us. Thanks very much, Alex. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so how can we take payments global? Uh, yeah, so we've talked a little bit about SEPA today. Fedor has some APIs that tap into that. Um, so wouldn't it be cool if you had euros in any bank account, say like Deutsche um, or Credit Suisse, and you could actually send those euros to another account within SEPA, which is pretty fast clearing, um, but have that money converted into dollars, yen, or whatever other currency is actively trading on the Ripple network. That would be pretty freaking cool. Um, so how are we going to do this? Well, Fedor's got some pretty cool APIs. Uh, Ripple also has some APIs, so maybe we can 
put them together to create this experience. That would be awesome. Yeah. Um, so Patrick already alluded to this, but I'll just reiterate, you know, even though we're api rits we need to respect the rules of the high seas of finance, including things like KYC and AML. You know, might have heard of them. Uh, those can be expensive costs for developers to maintain, so I'm happy to see that Fedor is providing those solutions for the innovators in this space. Uh, so let's talk about the links in the chain a little bit to actually make a cross-currency transaction happen. Um, before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about what a Ripple gateway is. So uh, Fedor is actually acting as a Ripple gateway after their integration. And what that means is that they are holding customer deposits in euros. And if a customer wants to transfer that money through Ripple, they can represent that euro balance on Ripple and send it through. So you can think of a gateway as kind of like a pseudo bank, right? You take, they take in a deposit and they issue you a balance. Um, so we have actors on the Ripple network today that aren't even actually traditional banks that are doing this type of thing. SnapSwap uh, was referenced, and that's going to be a partner of Fedor for settling in US dollars. So gateways sync external payments with corresponding Ripple transactions. Um, Ripple Labs has created a software framework called Gateway D that uh, it can be integrated with external payment systems. So you can write custom code that connects to Gateway D so that those payments are mirrored in real time onto Ripple. Um, so the features of this middleware, things like deposits and withdrawals, you can issue currency, uh, you can do robust payments through, that are sent through to Ripple, um, and you can monitor for incoming payments so that you can take corresponding action on the, out, on the outbound path as well as the inbound path. Um, so yeah, that's a Ripple gateway. Um, so let's talk about links to the transaction chain, right? So if we wanted to take euros and turn them into US dollars with Ripple in the middle, uh, you could use Fedor APIs to initiate a SEPA transaction. You could then have a gateway D set up to monitor for that transaction. Once it actually confirms the receipt of those euros, it can mirror a corresponding payment onto Ripple and send it through into a different currency. So that's the last piece of the chain. All good? Inflation, Kane said it many years ago that it, it, it's an invisible tax that only one man in a million really understands, and it's a tax on people that have had faith in their currency uh, that the government's issued. It's, it's interesting. In the United States, uh, what, what uh, the, the value of the dollar since I was born has declined by 94% to six cents. Uh, so inflation... Unlike where we were when the internet was in its infancy. Yeah, that's a great question. I'm Ryan Zagone with Ripple. Right. Um, and say your name so everybody can... Uh, Ryan Zagone with Ripple. Um, there's, there's a recognition here that there's many benefits to the technology. Uh, but unlike almost every other sector, the regulatory framework must be in place for innovation to take root in financial services. And there is a broad recognition that that is needed. Now, we've faced the same issue about an uncertain technology and an uncertain time before. This isn't the first time we've had to ask this question. And it was with the creation of the internet. We, it was, we recognize customers. And so we're seeing more momentum than we've ever had around using XRP to, to move this liquidity around the world. And so we couldn't really be happier about how that has played out in a world where there's still a lot, I think, of FUD, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of doubt about what's going on in crypto. This is a real use case solving a real problem for real customers. Okay, so which banks right now are actually using Ripple? We have signed up about two, over 200 banks around the world. Some of those banks just use our software to do that debit and credit fiat to fiat, and some of them are using XRP in those flows. Uh, we have banks like Satander that we've been working with for years and are moving lots of volume uh, through, through the Ripple's technology. And then, as I mentioned earlier, uh, payment providers like MoneyGram or RIA or Asimov that are using XRP actually to move that liquidity uh, and really reducing their cost.